Hello everyone, how are you? I'm HexDSL, hi there, hello. Um, this was posted on Reddit recently, and this, actually I have not voted it, that's rude of me, I should probably do that now. Uh, this is very cool, um, this is something someone has made, and it is, I'm a little bit, I think this is something that should have existed already actually. Someone's made a bash script that lets you preview fonts, which is just genius. Um, if you don't know why you'd want to preview fonts, then this video probably isn't for you. But if you're like me and you fuck with stuff and you just want to see fonts um, like occasionally, then this is this is great. Uh, there are times when I'm doing a video and I just want, and I just want to head a title or want something. And I just like what fonts should I use? I just want to like browse fonts, have a look at fonts. And uh, because of that, I end up having like font viewer installed and stuff and that I don't. It's not. It's a bit clunky and weird. And this solution is beautiful. Um, it is written. Ooh, there you go. It is written by someone named. Z do someone on Reddit? Uh, no, on uh, GitLab, <laughs> GitLab, GitHub. Sorry. Oh my god, I'm butchering all these words. Uh, there's the. I'll put the GitHub page and the uh, the Reddit link in the description below the video. Um, this is completely this person's awesome work. I've had a read through the script and it is. Well, in fact, I can, in fact, I can show you the script here. The script is right here. Look, the script is right here. It's like it's kind of like for what it's doing. It's kind of small. It's like it's lovely. It's 200 line script, exactly 200 line, which is cute. Um. And it's 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 smart. I mean, this shit's really smart. This is I could not do this, but the script is beautifully well documented. Has a little help thing going on, and overall, I'm yeah, I'm genuinely impressed with what this person has done. And I thought that this person has made an awesome thing, and I should you know just tell you about it. I should raise a little bit of awareness about something cool. So let's actually have a look at the script, shall we? Uh, I've made this a big big thing for you. Now, um, you're going to see error message on this script. The error message are because I've got a non-standard version of X SXIV installed. Um, if you uh, go back here, you can see dependencies are xdotool, um, fzf, which is a fuzzy find a search thing for the terminal. Um, Vim as well uses it. Um, image magic and SXIV. Now the SXIV I use is one that's patched so I can, use, so I can right click to browse the entire directory. It's not default behavior, but I like that. So you will see the occasional error message, not the fault of the script writer. I do weird shit with my computer. If you want to install it, it's, it's literally a bash script. So you can just like do what I didn't just copy and paste it and just, just put it in, just put it in your, in your path thread, in your, your path wherever you keep your scripts, which in my case is .bin. Um, could be somewhere else for you. Could be somewhere else. I just run it from a folder, or it tells you like just you can get clone it, or you can you can you know you can do all these things here. Um, not not sure we need to make and store for a script. That seems a bit simply, but you know people do this stuff. And um, the AR package when I tried it was broken. It was not working properly because it's putting the script in a weird position, in a weird place. But uh, it's probably fixed by now. I prefer with things like this though, just to like just to throw it in my in in my path, and then I can just back that up as GitLab and whatever. Um, but anyway, uh, this is cool. And this is this person's work. To be clear, because people often misunderstand, I didn't do this. This is this person did this. I'm just showing you this thing this person did. Um, so yeah, font preview. There you go. And then you can scroll up and down. Uh, this is using SZF to make this little menu thing, which is a lovely tool that I use Kind of like, kind of not as much as I should to be honest, but it looks lovely. I've got some kind of, I, you almost might not look like this because I've got some slight alterations of the settings for FZF um, to make it, you know, to make it look a bit more how I want. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's have a look, shall we? At this uh, at this font here. There you go. That's the font there. Great, right? And then uh, let's get out of this font. Uh, and this is the yeah, there you go. And then you'll, you'll you'll actually this is where you see things go a little bit wrong because I probably should have done that. There you go. And so, but we can also search. So I want to look at my Ubuntu fonts. If it help, if I could spell it. There's my Ubuntu. Let's look at Ubuntu Italic. There you go. There's my Ubuntu Italic. Let's look at some uh, Fiora Code Regenta, which is the font that people seem to like. Um, I like. I still like Hack. Hack. Hack Regular. One of my favorite fonts. There you go. Hack Regular. And this is just a. This is image. This is just an image. You can just. This is just an image. It just generates. Uh, it's very cool. Uh, and yeah, there's not a lot else I can say. I just wanted to kind of you know spend four minutes, three seconds. Raising awareness about this package, very cool. And then to exit, you just like Control C, it'll just drop you out back, drop you out of that. But if you do see any messages, it's probably because you got a weird version of SXIV installed. Um, it seems to be a thing. I'm probably fixed that, but I'm not going to because it doesn't bother me. Um, but yeah, very cool, very cool little preview thing. It does say here as well. I don't know why, but it does say right down here. Look right down here. Ooh, that's the wrong way. Right down at the bottom here, it says it is recommended to have the preview window floating. So if you use uh, i3wm or variant put this in your config yeah there you go so i don't know why they recommend that i don't really see the need in that but that's what they recommend um and there's some settings you can use to configure and obviously there's a print out of the help file um the help file help menu page theme i don't know and if you really do want to learn some bash you can look at the script because it's bash and you can just you can you know go and have a little read of it which is nice very 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 elegantly really. i like this all, all like commented up in a way that makes sense as well i like all this this is good this is good that's actually what's error in here i think it's the uh the 
PID for... Mm, okay, it's probably what's there in there. I might, might fix that. I don't know. I can't see if I can bother or not. But uh, yeah, all in all, I thought you should take a look at that because it's very cool. And let's oh, actually one thing while we're here. What else has this person written? What's this person written? Sherlock Project. Hunt down... To, oh, this is one of those... This one of those get, this is one of those get cans we're going to follow. I'm going to follow this get can. This might be good. So uh, thank you very much to... Sidharth? Dushanta? I can't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not good at saying names. But thank you to this person for making something cool for us to experience. And please do more of it. So, yeah. Bye.